Hey everyone, how's it going? Derek here from Medictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Nmap utility. Uh, Nmap is a command line networking tool that you can use to scan devices and create a network map on your system. We're not going to be going over how to use that. That'll be in another post. But uh, you know, if you need to install Nmap, this is what you do. So in this in this video here, I'm going to be going over the Snap way of installing it. And the reason I'm going over Snap is because there's a Snap package version, and basically anybody who can run Snap packages, so Fedora, Ubuntu, uh, OpenSUSE, Debian, as long as you can run the Snap uh, daemon services in the background on your computer, you can access this package. So there's no need to worry about that. But if you check the article that I wrote in the description, there's also source code instructions and how to get it for basically every Linux operating system out there. But to install it on Snap, you first need to find the package. So you can do snap find nmap. And this will search the Snap Store. Now there are two nmap packages here. There's nmap cprov, which uh, says version 1, and I don't really know what that does. But the latest one is uh, nmap, just the nmap package, and it's got version 7.70. And uh, you can install it with, if you copy this here, sudo snap install nmap. I'm going to click paste. Enter the password and it's going to download all of the prerequisites from the snap store and install on your system. It's a very lightweight tool so it's not going to take too long. I would guess probably about a minute, two minutes. And uh, it's a command line tool so you can just run it like you would be running the program that you installed from the mainstream software repositories, not from the Snap Store or anything like that. So once it's done, let's run the help tool. Okay. Here we go. Nmap help. As you can see, we've got the Nmap program, all of the help information. We can also run man Nmap. And that's weird, but regardless, that's how you get the app working on the Snap Store. Please check the article that I wrote for more information in the description below. I will see you guys in the next video.